Hi everyone, hope you guys are fine. Today we are going to discuss a similar platform or similar services which Heroku provides us. Uh, as we all know that Heroku is no longer a free service from 28 November 2022. So let's get started. We are going to host our server. Let me run this server. Okay, my server is running on localhost 8080, port 8080. This is the simple get request. And this is just a basic, uh, you can see, slash request and it is printing hello world. This is uh, this code is from my repository. You can also check this out. Okay, so let's deploy this server to the Heroku. This was already hosted on Heroku, but as we all know, it is now no longer supported from 28 November. We need to upgrade it, right? So let's log in to the railway. Log in with GitHub. I've already created an account. So let's log in. Okay, so these are two empty projects. Let me delete this. Okay, go to setting and danger. Delete this project. And this is also a dummy project. So let's delete this. Okay, so let's get started with the CLI version. Today we are going to discuss the two methods. One is GitHub integration and one is CLI. So let's get started with CLI. It's similar with the Heroku one. You need to install it using, if you are using Mac, you can use Hebrew and Drew install railway and for Windows user, you can simply run this command. Right, uh, I have already logged in with, uh, I have already installed this. And now let's log in with Railway. You can see. We are going to follow the documentation. So let's open new terminal. And Railway login. Press enter. Okay, logged in. So what is the next command? Uh, if you have already created a project using their dashboard, you can just link this using providing the ID. But I'm going to init a new project. So let's init. Uh, empty project. My name will be uh, simple server. Just going to create a server. Okay, so it is done. What is the next command? Railway run and for example, you want to run. Okay, so let's do railway run start. Okay, it will, I believe it should throw an error. Uh, yes, because we haven't added our script on the I've just cloned this repository. It's an old repository. Let me update it. Start and we just say node server dot chase. Right, it should start now. And let's clear this and railway run and we may start. You can see it has run my local server on my local machine. What I was doing, I was also running my server over here, but uh, now I am running this using Railway app. So let's see if it is running localhost port 88. You can see the port is defined in the server.js file. Right, so this one for the local, let's deploy the server. So let's go to the documentation. To deploy, simply run railway up. So clear this and clear this and railway up. It's installing some. Uh, npm and other libraries, right? Okay, 
let's go to the dashboard you can see it is the build is uh, creating over here simple server we can check out the logs okay no deployment build logs okay so this is deployed successfully uh, here you can see your server is also live let's generate our domain you can see you can go to set uh, simply click over there and go to setting and generate a domain this is our domain it usually usually take a few minutes to go live yeah you can see hello world our server is now live on railway okay, you can check out their documentation about their hours like you can see i have used my one minute out of 500 hours one hour okay so this was the one method using cli now let's get started using the github repository simply click on the create deploy from github repo configure a github repo go to your profile and select the repository I, I selected the specific repositories you can select all repositories if you want i have already selected my this heroku server repository so i'm just going to close it and go to deploy and here is the list of allowed repositories just click over there and deploy now you can add, add variables and other things if you want no deployment yeah, build is creating you can check this out uh, this is a good platform it provides static website deployment let me show you you can see get started you can see you can deploy nexus prisma template a lot more thing you can you, you used to do with heroku you can do all of this with this really so this build is creating uh, no we were let's refresh this page we should have where is our heroku server mm -hmm. here is our heroku server let's wait for the deployment okay deployment successful go to the setting and you need to again generate the url okay so it should not work it should throw an error okay but the current error is deployment in progress it you can see it is saying deployment in progress so let's wait yeah as i said it should throw an error because the repository I have attached is a bit old one and you can see in the package.json file there is no start script so the one way is you can update your github repo and the other one is you need to update your uh, railway app settings so just go to the settings and on the down below here is the start command it by default it uh, does is npm start but it couldn't find the start command so we will provide a custom command that will be node server.js and let's just save this it will redeploy the server you can see and hopefully it will go live deployment of service has started let's wait for a few seconds go to the dashboard we have two different apps the one we deployed using our CLI and the one we are connected with our github repository let's see it is still deploying yeah it's again deployed let's refresh this link 
and here you can see uh, our this server is also up and running so we had discussed two different methods of hosting uh, okay guys hopefully you enjoyed the video do let me know in the comment section if you need any if you didn't get anything